guys welcome back to my channel anus hobby lobby in this video i'm going to share with you all a very rich and uh, traditional household recipe which is very common in telangana as well as andhra so this is a full platter but i'm going to share with you uh, today gongura pachadi as well as uh, neela charu which is uh, like a rasam which is uh, especially made with uh, water and some spices uh, so you don't need uh, rasam powder for this so it's instant so i hope you all like it and uh, the skongura is nothing but it's red sorrel leaves uh, you will get in red and uh, white variety so here uh, for this uh, chutney or pachadi i'm taking the red leaves uh, so we'll be taking off all the leaves and, uh, so make sure there are no stems to that leaves uh, in order to make this uh, chutney if you are interested to regrow this skongura at your home do not throw away these stems make sure you cut it at the edges as shown here and then uh, you can take a full uh, glass full of uh, water and uh, like i'm uh, taking a mason jar here fill the water and then cut the edges uh, towards the end and put it in the water change the water every one or two days and you can uh, transplant it once the root is developed so i'll be sharing more details on that uh, in the upcoming video so please do watch my channel and uh, coming back to this chutney we'll take a pan once it's hot we'll dry roast uh, the coriander seeds one tablespoon and uh, one to two teaspoons of sesame seeds as well as one four teaspoon of fenugreek seeds so once you dry roast them uh, transfer it into a mixer jar now to the same pan add one to two teaspoons of oil and then uh, we'll add uh, three to four green chilies or as per your taste according to the spice level just roast it and then uh, uh, transfer it into the same mixer jar and uh, we'll be adding around uh, three to four garlic pods as well and keep it aside now onto the same pan we'll be adding all the uh, leaves so make sure you wash thoroughly and then we'll add into the pan if the leaves are not that sore then we can add little bit of uh, tamarind as well otherwise you can avoid it once it's cooked uh, like around for 5 to 10 minutes you can um, keep it aside make sure it's cool down so meanwhile we'll grind the dry ingredients first and then transfer this uh, gongura leaves into this now before grinding don't forget to add the salt as per your taste like i'm adding 1 teaspoon of salt here and uh, grind it into fine smooth paste transfer it into a bowl and uh, for tempering we'll be taking around uh, 3 teaspoons of oil you could add little bit more oil for the chutney it gives a uh, really nice uh, flavor so once the oil is hot we'll add 1 teaspoon of urad dal and uh, a teaspoon of rye or mustard seeds as well as cumin seeds and uh, two red chilies and some minced uh, or crushed garlic add some curry leaves as well as 1/8 teaspoon of asafoetida as well uh, ma make sure uh, the uh, tempering is nicely roasted and uh, also we'll be adding 2 uh, to 3 tablespoons of raw onions and then add the tempering here so our chutney is ready and uh, for rasam will into the pestle will add 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds 1 teaspoon of jeera as well as 3 to 4 uh, garlic uh, gra crush it properly and into the pan we'll add uh, all this crushed uh, ingredients as well as uh, one lemon sized uh, tamarind uh, make sure just it's washed it's not like you don't need to soak it uh, so into the same thing we'll be adding like 1 uh, and 1/2 to 2 cups of water and also we'll be adding 1/4 teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder salt as per the taste and uh, some curry leaves as well as uh, coriander Once we add everything, mix well once and then close the lid. Boil it in medium flame. We'll add a teaspoon of oil into this pan, and once oil is hot, add a teaspoon of rye or mustard seeds and uh, cumin seeds as well, and uh, one eight teaspoon of asafoetida, and also we'll be adding one red chilli here. Uh, once the rasam is boiled properly, we'll transfer it into a bowl. and now you can add the tempering into this so our rasam is ready and uh, this is how my full platter is looking with the gongura pachadi and uh, 
plain dal, dosakai pappu as well as uh, plain rasam and some yogurt along with the white rice. So add just a few drops of ghee on top of the rice and uh, you can mix the gongura pachari. When you are adding uh, rasam into the rice add uh, some plain dal as well that gives a very nice uh, flavor. So I hope you like both the recipes. Please do like, uh, share as well as leave a comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel also turn on notification bell as well thank you very much for watching